time for another G.I. Joe toy review. Before I get into that, I want to thank all of you who have reached out and expressed their concern for my health and safety uh, in this very trying time with the coronavirus. Uh, I am safe. I, I do appreciate your concern for that. I take every precaution I can. Uh, I wash my hands. If we have gowns and gloves and masks, all of those things available to us or personal protective equipment, if we even suspect somebody um, that may have that illness. Uh, so I have not run into any cases as of yet, um, but I assure you that I will take every precaution necessary to protect myself and my family from that illness. Um, I live with my elderly mother, um, so I'm definitely going to take special care um, to see that she doesn't get exposed. So, with all that being said, I want to dedicate today's review to all of the toilet paper and hand sanitizing hoarders out there in the world. The vehicle and action figure that I'm dedicating to you is the 1988 Desert Fox and his driver Skidmark because that's what you're going to be leaving with us for hoarding all the toilet paper, a bunch of skid marks. So this salutes for you, and that one too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys stop. It's ridiculous. Okay, get your heads together. Think rationally. You don't need all of that. You have soap and water at home, I assume. It's all you really need. Wash your hands thoroughly. Don't touch your face and dig in your nose and rub your eyes and put your fingers in your mouth, okay? If you're out in public. At home, your hands are clean. Do whatever you want, but just not out in public, okay? So, um, yes, Skidmark is dedicated to the toilet paper hoarders. Uh, this figure and action, this figure and vehicle hit the toy shelves in 1988 as a part of the seventh series. It was on the shelves until 1990 when it was discontinued. Uh, his original retail price was $5.99. Uh, it made his first comic book debut. In issue number 72, so let me go ahead and pull that up for you. I didn't find any information on this, but um, it's a desert vehicle. It's named a Desert Fox, so I'm wondering if it was loosely compared or related to General Erwin Rommel, who was also known as the Desert Fox. He was a... Um, Tank commander um, out in the uh, African campaign during World War II, uh, very skilled commander. Uh, he was actually um, admired by General Patton because of his prowess and um, battlefield tactics. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this vehicle and action figure right so here it is the desert fox and his driver skid mark i happen to have two skid marks because of all the toilet paper theft going on there we're hoarding this is mine from when i was a, a child um, got him at uh i was a teenager i shouldn't say a child but um got him at a uh, thrift store so, pretty cool. 
Uh, so, where can I start? Let's go ahead and start with the driver himself. Uh, poorly named. I'm sure the guys at Hasbro just got a kick out of calling him Skidmark. Uh, I do love the colors on him. A... They work with, sorry, bumped the camera. They work with the, the desert and certain themes. Uh, there are, is green out in the desert in some areas. But um, he has this orange helmet. Has a few dents in it, if I could get that to show up right here. He has a dent, sculpted in dents. Um... Uh, has these black sunglasses, very pale complexion for being in the desert. Oh, uh, he is wearing this orange tactical vest, very nice sculpting on it. Uh, he has a pistol sculpted down or sculpted there on his chest. Nice paint applications on those. He has a handheld microphone right here on his chest. Not sure what this pad is. Uh, he has some bullets right here, a trench knife, and you can see that it has a nice zipper sculpted on there, if that comes in at all. Uh, additional pouches, and this is over, the vest is over this green sweatshirt. It's ribbed, the sweatshirt is ribbed, you can see the Wrinkles are sculpted in there. Pretty cool. And he's wearing these pea soup green pants. He has a orange shotgun. That is, excuse me. I went, yeah, this looks like a uh, sawed off double barrel shotgun down here on his leg. Oh, uh, he's wearing. His orange boots it has a pouch over here on this leg, and I don't know what happened to the lighting. I am very sorry. So, uh, the holster for the the shotgun goes wraps all the way around his leg. Uh, very cool action figure. I like the detail on him. Not bad at all. And here, this isn't the original file card. I printed this out on cardstock just to see what it would look like. But um, I had gotten the idea for when I bought a bunch of quote unquote file cards from a guy on eBay, and it ended up being these sheets of file cards printed out on card stock but he did reimburse me I uh, was not happy about that he advertised them as file cards so um, so I just took that idea and ran with it to make the file card for him so I'm not going to sell them but uh, it reads up here code name Skidmark G.I. Joe Desert Fox six wheel driver File name, Columbani, uh, Cyril, C-Y-R-I-L, Cyril. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Serial number 470388412. Secondary military specialty, fast attack vehicle driver, or that's the primary specialty, secondary is infantry. Birthplace, Los Angeles, California, grade E4. He is a specialist. Reads here, the skid mark was the kid that was held up by your mother as a shining example of everything that you were not. He was annoyingly polite, madding, maddeningly well-groomed, and excruciatingly successful in his studies. There was a, a collective sigh of relief from his contemporaries when he received his first driver's license and subsequently shattered all the records for the accumulation of speeding violations. 
See, he's just acting out. I can finally shed this good boy image. Bottom part reads in quotations. He keeps his locker in Bay, Bay Area squared away and spotless. It makes everyone else look bad by comparison. This is, could have been the cause for uh, resentment if it wasn't for the fastest, most reliable recon driver around. Worst thing that his teammates can say about him is the best thing that a soldier can say about another soldier. He does his job. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Desert Fox itself. I'm saying it would replacing the Vamp Mark IV. It is for being the, the desert vehicle. It is a six-wheel drive. Uh, looking at it from the front here. Very sleek. The driver is protected by this armor up the front there, uh, which is nice. Uh, you just go ahead and slide him in through the side there. I'm not going to be like, really accurate with it. But um, if you don't get him in there right, and it's a pain in the butt to get him in there. But he's mostly protected by this the armor plating here on the front. Oh, it's in this desert tan color, splashes of dark brown, and this orange, this orange color just really works well for it. Parts that are easily lost is the gun here on the front and the antenna. You will pay a lot to get those replaced. Uh, so the front wheels, they move independently of one another, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, the back wheels are each on a mushroom peg. There is no axle, as you can see, down here at the bottom. And the stamp reads 1988 Hasbro Incorporated, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Uh, let's see, what can we talk about further? Uh, the missiles, they do remove onto this mushroom or a dumbbell peg, neither side is correct, or universal, fits right onto that, the dumbbell peg, and these do stay on pretty well. The missile is hollowed out in the back to make it look a little more authentic. Uh, you could fit two up front, two Joes up front here in the seats. Uh, one one Joe here in the back where pardon me this is a big vehicle uh, where he operates a control panel back here and one standing up on this machine gun turret uh, kind of a pain in the butt to get him on there but he the figure does once you get him pegged on, um, see it's a, a pain. It does swivel around at 360 degrees. Uh, the machine gun does elevate up and down. And on the front you can see this kind of the diamond grid armor plating on there. This is the funnest feature for me on the vehicle. Uh, looking at the front again, he has this air intake. Uh, headlights are up here. Uh, steering wheel. It is non-workable. Uh, doesn't come out very easily. So you don't have much to worry about there like in the vamp. But this is just a very cool vehicle all, all around. I really like it. I've never had this one as a kid. Just had the driver. 
Uh, didn't have very many vehicles at all, actually. So I do recommend you guys get this. It's a, a fun toy to have around. It displays well. Uh, the only downfall is getting the figure to stand on the turret and getting them to sit in the, in the seats. And those are the only challenging things about it. Uh, but be sure to, uh, when buying this on the aftermarket, make sure it has the gun and the antenna. The gun is a little more obvious when it's missing, but the antenna is very easily overlooked. Um, this is a whip antenna. Uh, and it plugs right into the back here. Uh, the weak spot is right down here at the base, so that could snap off. It has a tow hook. It doesn't have the fuel port like a lot of the earlier vehicles have. It just has a sticker that says fuel port. Uh, yeah, you can put your other Joe here in the back. Fits nicely back there. But, uh, yeah, I, I do like this vehicle. I uh, recommend you guys get it, especially at the price that they are now. They're very inexpensive. Alrighty. Uh, let me know what you think about this vehicle. I, I, I love it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, for being a late 80s, early 90s vehicle, this thing is going pretty cheap on the aftermarket. And especially because they're not get, getting cheap with the construction on the bottom of the vehicle like they did towards the end of the run. Um, the action figure's legs aren't sticking out of the bottom. It's not hollow. So, excuse me, it's a great piece to have. Uh, I, I seriously do recommend that you get it. Uh, the play features that I really didn't care that much for the squeaky wheels um, pretty common put a little vegetable oil in there and vegetable oil oh, hiccups excuse me and uh, that'll get rid of the squeak the tires very nice tread on those and the independently moving front tires are cool I really like that those the, such a great play feature. Oh, the cannon or the gun turret in the back is another really good feature. This is just a, a cool toy altogether. So, um, just lost my train of thought. So, uh, if you don't already have it, you know, at these prices that I'm going to be talking about, get it. Uh, it's so rare to find vehicles inexpensive anymore. So, this brings me to my favorite segment of the show, Byron's Gripes. Yes, uh, not much to gripe about with this, actually. Uh, you want one that's complete with the blueprints, $50 or better offer. Great deal. Not really the deal of the day, but it is... As vehicles go, this is pretty cheap. Complete with no blueprint, 40 bucks. Deal of the day. Oh, here's Miser of the Day Award. The missile is $1.35, but he wants $4.06 in shipping. Oh, $3.50 is the average for shipping something that small in the continental United States. It's a disgusting trend that's going on. People are trying to get more money out of you uh, by charging more and shipping. Both missiles, $3.62 plus $2.95. That is spot on. So that doesn't make sense. $2.95 for two missiles, but you pay $4.06 for one missile. That is just plain unadulterated greed. Now here's Miser of the Day 2. Uh, $3.16 for the missile. Okay, that's fine, but he wants $3.90 in shipping. No, people, please knock this off. It makes it, it's hard enough for the average 9 to 5 -er who's wanting to start collecting and share this with his or her kids. 
their joy of these toys that they had when they were little, that their brothers had. And you're making it hard because your exuberant prices. Please give us a break. Complete without a skid mark. Poor choice of names. 30 bucks. <coughs> the antenna, $23. Uh, that's about standard for something like that. Uh, complete with the box deal of the day, $67.49. Uh, the driver himself, skid mark, uh, $8.15. Here we go. Ebenezer Scrooge Award, $24.99. Why? It's not a popular figure. Why twenty four ninety nine? Just because it says G.I. Joe, it does not mean it's expensive. It does not make it valuable. Did you climb up to the top of Mount Everest to purchase this from a Sherpa because it was a Sherpa exclusive? If you did, God bless you. That's a heck of a hike. But I doubt it. Steering wheel, $9 to $12. Nah, it's fair to Midland. Uh, skid mark with the file card, uh, $14.99. Great deal, snatch that up. File cards are usually between $5 and $8. Uh, so I didn't see any loose file cards for sale this time around. So great deal on that. Uh, his uh, the gun which is commonly missing 1995 the box by itself deal of the day again two dollars twenty or twenty five dollars twenty five on that so uh, there you have it there there are the the prices I um, Again, I want to reiterate that I do this for entertainment, give you guys an idea of what to look for. Uh, I only quote eBay prices, no other uh, other sites out there. It's, it would just take forever. Uh, eBay for the convenience, not to pick on it, nor the sellers. That's not what I do on this channel, save for the greedy toilet paper hogs out there. Um, need to be put in your place. That's just wrong, guys. Please stop. It's insane going to a grocery store. So there you have it. There's Byron's Gripes. There's the Desert Fox. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, like, share, and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, I love seeing my numbers grow, go up. And thank you very much for the recent subscribers. Uh, that's, that's humbling. It lets me know that my content is worthy enough for you to subscribe and I do really appreciate it. Uh, special thanks to my channel supporters. Their names are listed down in the description. Uh, my email address is down there as well if you want to shoot me an email. I love talking to you guys. That's just a highlight of the day uh, going through and reading your comments and um, answering them. So yeah, stay safe out there. Keep your hands washed. Uh, and just be mindful of what's going on and not panic. Okay, there's no need for it. Let's just work together as fellow human beings and help one another out. So this is Joe Motion Videos A2 signing off. Take care. Stay safe. Always be kind to one another been saying it for a long time so please be kind especially be kind to animals they know nothing but unconditional love and and support so we'll see you next week for another gi joe toy review until then love peace and monkey grease i'll talk to you later bye bye